My name is Alexis Gwynn, and I'm located in Raleigh, North Carolina. I own the Pharmacy Salon. I'm the pharmacist on Instagram, and I specialize in short natural hair. How I started on my journey is that um, I just have a passion for hair. I've always done hair, um, just kind of naturally. I loved helping my aunt do my sister's hair growing up. I actually didn't know it was a profession. I didn't even know that cosmetologist was a thing. <laughs> so, uh, but I kept doing like my friend's hair growing up, braiding, I started out braiding. I actually Googled professional hairdresser. <laughs> so, and then when I found out that it was actually a thing, like state board exam, I was like, what, this is crazy. So then all of a sudden um, I got into school, I was like, well, I'll just do hair school to pay for my psychology degree. And then all of a sudden I got into school and it just clicked. It clicked for me. It came natural. I loved it. When they started talking about disulfide bonds and chemistry and all that stuff, I was like, what? This is cool. So once we started doing it, it all just came natural. Like just talking with the clients and doing the hair and the science. And I just loved it so much. And then after school, I was a shampoo assistant. Um, I met David in school. My name is David Yancey. I'm a sales consultant for Influence Hair Care in the Raleigh and the Fayetteville area. I met her, okay, I met Alexis at Melamont College um, in, in hair school, and we established a good relationship there. And um, I saw one of the techs come in, and now we were teaching, they were teaching us how to do relaxers at the time, and we would take forever to do the relaxers. Like, they were like, you gotta speed up, you gotta do it within the processing time. And this girl comes in and she slams out a full head of relaxer in like 12 minutes, and we were like, this is crazy. Like, how does she do it so fast? She was using all influence products and she was teaching us and she just looked so confident and cool. And I was like, yeah, I think I think I want to do something like that. I bought some of the products from David and I started using them on my clients. I love the way they felt. This is when they were in like the brown and white bottles. <laughs> so that's how long I've been with them. You know, I've been with Influence for that long. Even all of my transitions through my career, I actually use Influence everywhere. I used, I was a shampoo assistant. The stylist I worked for then, she used Influence. And so I built a deeper relationship with David. Because as I started building my own clientele, I was buying my own separate products. I was using it at home. Just sat there and watched her grow. You know, like I said, it's been a, a, a great businesswoman. Also, she's one of those ones that's more of a risk taker that we have to be. And that's what I like about her. She, she has confidence in herself that she will sell the product. See, that's one thing that I like about it. She has the confidence in herself. And then from there, I went to a traditional uh, corporate salon. And even though they had their own products, I was like, nah, I gotta use Influence. So I started bringing Influence there. And I worked at another traditional salon. I was still using Influence there and actually introducing other stylists to it. And over the years, I've just been able to just build and build and keep that relationship. And that's where I'm, I'm here now, so. <laughs> okay, so we'll start out with the coconut milk shampoo and conditioner. Wow. <laughs> I mean, a lot of my clients are very natural. This is their first time wearing their natural hair curly. They don't believe it can happen. And the coconut milk shampoo and conditioner just softens the hair so much. Like you can literally feel it almost melt. Like it penetrates into the hair. Like it's so cool. I love it. Um, I use it on my daughter too. She has really bad eczema and it doesn't irritate her. It softens her hair. I'm able to comb through it without her crying and being upset. So that's my number one if we're going to talk about foundational products. Oh wait, and then we got to add in the deep cleanse as well. So deep cleanse, I mean, that gives me a clean foundation for everything that I do. A lot of my clients use oils and butters. So when I use the deep plants first, then I go back with the coconut milk. I mean, it just gives me just this easy process throughout. It's very comfortable for them. And then they take it home. It preserves their color. I mean, there's so many features about it that I love. It smells good. I mean, I've had even some of the uh, clients' husbands who have beards use it on their beards because they like how soft it feels. And then on top of that, it's going to be the organic styling gel. I mean, organic styling gel for me has just transformed all of my curly clients. You know, all the curls that I'm able to create, that's my foundation. And I build upon that and I love it. I actually stopped carrying the four ounce altogether and I only carry 16 ounce jars and I sell out of it consistently. 
Like it's my number one seller. I mean, if I didn't have to, if I could only sell one product, it would be the organic styling gel. <laughs> and then on top of that, as a finishing product, it's definitely gonna be the shine spray. The S3 shine spray, I mean, it, it's a UV protected, it's not greasy, it's not oily, it helps to reduce frizz. So my clients are able to, in between services, put a little bit on their finger, twirl, and get their curls back. You know, we all love shine. And normally natural hair doesn't shine, but I love how the shine spray goes in. It's not like oily and it doesn't like transfer onto your clothes and they're able to use it. So those are my number one foundational products. Okay, so for me, education and knowledge is power, period. Um, I'm naturally an inquisitive person. Like I thirst for education at all times. I'm always that person who asks why, why, why? And that's what I love about influencers that I can call the home office and ask questions. I can ask David questions. I can call one of the national techs and say, okay, tell me how this works and why. And that's important to me because if I'm confident in using the products, I'm actually able to sell it easier to my clients and give them why, because they're going to ask me why. Well, yeah, mentorship, very important. And I'm Mr. Artist providing the mentorship to me. You know, one of our first conversations, he told me, he said, Dave, if you do A, B, C, and D, don't skip a step. You'll be fine in this industry. So I listened to everything he told me. So I guess I was crazy enough to listen to him <laughs> because, you know, I haven't looked back since. And as far as that, I want to give back as far as mentoring to the cosmetologist because I know the leadership that we have in this company, if they really do A, B, C, and D, they will be successful in this industry. So that mentorship is a big part of me. Why are you using this product in my hair? Why should I choose this product over whatever? You know, because this actually works in my hair. Is this gonna do a better job? So knowledge is very important to me. And the fact that most of the clients who sit in my chair tell me that no one has ever educated them like I have. And I feel like I can never know everything. And I love the fact that I can never learn enough. So I'm constantly gonna be able to grow and build from there. So I'm definitely passionate about really tightly curled Afro textured hair because I feel that it's super unique and it needs unique care. And Influence provides me with that care. But as I research it and I find out all its unique properties, I just love how beautiful it can be if it's properly cared for. Um, I'm learning so much about how just the natural things that we've been taught to do are the things that are keeping us from achieving some of our goals. And I just wanna be able to educate clients to be able to care for their hair and reach their goals in a safe, healthy manner and be able for them to look at their hair as being beautiful again, you know, not having those negative words such as nappy and naughty a part of the conversation anymore. I want them to look at it as being beautiful and glorious. You know, I told my client the other day, I said, the bigger the Afro, the closer you are to heaven. I was like, she was like, what? I was like, yeah, let's do this big hair. Let's do it. You know, let's make it stand up. I said, our hair does this naturally. Like the strongest force is gravity and our hair defies it. Like how beautiful is that? Like we have to love on our hair and, and nurture it and say nice things to it. Like, don't tell your hair that it's nappy and naughty. Like, don't say that it's bad. Like, there's no such thing as good hair. It's just healthy hair. And if you have that, then it's good. And my passion about having healthy, tightly coiled hair is like, man, it's just out there. Like, I have to research it constantly. I love studying it. And there's so many studies of this scientist actually looking at our hair and you seeing how unique it is and comparing it to other textures and it does deserve its own like I don't know its own space in the industry. <laughs> <laughs>